Good morning, everyone. This is Rave Gal. We're playing some more Ender Lilies. Quietest of the Nights. Jump back in. We're at the... We've kind of just been out exploring. I don't know if we have a specific destination yet. Looks like there is a path here and then off to the side. It's a really neat, uh, if you're just joining, this is a really neat, uh, Metroidvania. Really unique art style. Neat aesthetic. We're just getting into it, so definitely go back and watch the first two videos if you haven't. This is a different area, but I'm not sure. Whoa! That hadn't happened before. Uh, I guess one thing that we... So I've mentioned a couple times I like the fact that you can use this to cancel out of your attacking to some extent. But that was the first time that I have run into it where it carried me all the way. Uh, we're gonna back track a little bit here because we haven't been down here. Just to make sure there's nothing hiding, that we're not missing anything here. Actually use that. Nope, just a weird little section down there. Okay, let's go ahead and jump down here. guys and anyone who has seen me play some of these games before knows exactly why. The worst enemies in any game are the flying enemies with projectiles. So we can go in here, yes. Whoa, this is really awkward. I suppose getting my own flying guy with projectiles is good. I'm assuming we're gonna get that spirit. If only I could see my wife and daughter one last time. We'll purify the spirit and the western merchant. Launches ranged attacks at enemies inside. Okay. Um, having better ranged attacks is definitely a good thing. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of heals right now, and we can't... I wish I could reassign that right here. Oh. 
I bet that's going to... Ah. Yep, that goes... I bet that goes back. So that's going to be our shortcut back to the... Exit here. Because I think this is going to be a dead end. So we saw that weird terrain where that knight was. And I said it looked like it was just kind of a dead end. And I bet it's not. I bet that's going to now be open. And we're going to be able to go back through it. Fragment, get some more max HP. Unfortunately, the current ranged attack I have can't hit enemies in the air, um, which is why I keep using the ball and chain one. I'm kind of thinking that I might replace the ball and chain one because it is kind of awkward to hit with compared to maybe something like those crow projectiles. Stagnant Blight is going to be skill enhancement, so we can buff one of the other skills. I'm assuming that this pink liquid is not helpful. Judging by the fact that enemies jumping into it are dying. This was a side area, effectively. We got the Western Merchant. And I think I'm going to do... How many charges does that have? 50. Okay. So I think we're going to do this. And we'll kind of have this as a... option. Relics are good. Fast travel. Enhance. We can do this right off the bat and just get an attack boost on that. Oh, nice. And if we can get uh, that next boost, it'll also toss out more projectiles. I wish we could get the base one. That's okay. Um, oh, I did want to check. Okay. Let's try going off to the right. Looks like we are still missing something from the screen, but I think we needed another jump or something to get it. Oh, it just hovers there and... Okay. So I need to make sure I turn it off when I'm dealing with enemies that I can... Does that have a backswing too? Okay.
keep our distance here, just for safety. And then immediately jump into an attack. The range on that guy is a little bit more than it appears. Fragment. Some more max HP up. Also a quick trip back if we wanted to. Um, which, honestly, I might do, given that I burned through two heals, one by accident. one screen away from the heal. We've opened the gate. Let's take this opportunity, since I'm already down two heals, to rest up again. I mean, I guess let's save, since we're here. go through here instead of having to do that upward part. Burned through a few charges there, but I feel like that was worth it. There's just so many enemies right here that having that... Basically just getting those extra attacks that I'm not having to target is really nice. Kind of the, uh... Kind of the bullet hell mindset of if I attack or if I focus on defense and just keep shooting, I'll eventually hit something. curious. So that almost looks like it could be a secret. So there's this little indent here. Aha! Furious Blight. Is that the one we already have some of? Crap. 
okay then. I did more damage than I was expecting. A good uh, good news is we do get to keep our progress. Let's go ahead and check here. Actually, we got that second. Okay, those are stagnant, so we don't know what furious blight is going to be used for exactly yet. Actually, wait, just a second. What was that? Okay. I just saw that toggle information. I had this brief moment of, oh, I wonder if you can, like, switch to Furious to do different upgrades or something. It is not. Hooray, being overly reckless. Oh, crap, we have to go back through that section again. With all the enemies. This section was really intense the first time. We are apparently super aggressive and not caring. Now we can skip that section. The good news is we've gotten these areas opened. I was not paying attention there. with it. Twenty-five back for that? That is a lot. Okay. Need a little bit more height on that. I'm assuming we're going to get something that does that at some point. Okay, multiple exits here again. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Oh, this is a separate section. Never mind. Yeah, let's try it. Another amulet fragment. Lots of max HP up this time.
wrong button. I keep getting my R and my circle mixed up for some reason. Like they're both kind of the, when I'm thinking I want to push the right button. I don't know, it's weird. Read. Hamlet request one. Request, fearless warrior needed to slay large monsters in the forest. Yeah, makes sense. Rewards have been given on uh, for any feeds. Build, stand with us to protect our great nation. Uh, can't go through here yet. I'm guessing this is gonna be... Yep, that goes back to the same section that I was just in. It is at the White Parish grounds in the catacombs where the Guardian candidates endure many years of training. Okay. Selected from devotees to the church, it said that only the ten finest candidates will earn that honor. Okay. And there is a... Respite. I don't think we have anything else to do here. But we do have, so there's two paths here, plus we have the path behind us to do. Let's do the path behind us quick, just to finish it out. And then we'll go back to the respite point and use that as our, the end of this video. an additional relic slot? Okay. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what that entails yet. Stagnant Blight, so that'll be... Uh, now I can choose, I guess, if I want to buff... Um... I can choose if I want to buff the uh, Whirlwind, like the Ball and Chain, or I can start saving up to get enhanced projectiles further, which honestly I'm thinking I'm leaning towards that. Guessing, yep, that's another piece that I need some sort of additional jumping to get to. Okay, so this is where it breaks. So I should be able to just go back through here, and since I didn't use a respite point, it shouldn't reset the enemies. can't reach up there yet. Easy enough. I think I'm gonna save up my, uh, my energy because I think getting a second shot on the, this projectile will go a long way. <laughs> so hopefully you are still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.